Howdy, welcome back. This is Ethel Red, the worst Civ player on YouTube. Let's play some Civ. It's 1770, and the colonists in North America are upset about the taxes without representation. So, George III has uh, canceled all of the customs taxes that they pay except for the taxes on tea, and that was not enough. So, the Americans upset over the tea in 1773 throw that tea into the Boston Harbor and we have got to get some more growth for Canterbury because they are stagnating so let's set this guy to food focused and put somebody on no, let's not even put anybody on, on the university. Let's just grow the city right now. Yeah, let's just grow that city, because that's what that needs. Nottingham is fine. Hastings, I'm thinking, is fine. Canterbury, we can put another person on university there. Wait, 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 wait. No, this is the city I need to grow. Alright, London. London is doing fine. This is York. I'm just going to leave them just like they are, actually. And... Nottingham. I think we've already been to Nottingham. So, great. And we have... A prophet going out into the wilderness. This has got to be one of the most monumental stupid ideas of all time. So let's not and say we did. I mean, seriously. That's stupid. This unit will come up here, this worker, and they will do that farm right there. So they will improve a farm. And this city, I think, needs more food it's got plenty of production so we will clear that forest and turn that into a farm that pikeman will come over and be ready to take out this barbarian camp when vatican city asks for it and now we wow i tell you, i'm constantly surprised by how many barbarians there are in this game well nice that you're friends with arabia wish them well on my behalf not, no, I'm not, I'm not going to give anyone 700 gold. So we've got 13 turns until the next World Congress. And I think that I said in that Congress it's natural heritage sites. The next one will be a little bit more, a little bit more confrontational. I think my next proposal there. Okay, next. Siam and Korea are now friends. Wow. I have not been able to drive those two apart. Despite the fact that there's a Korean city right on their border. That was not enough. Road to Wittenberg. Great. Election rigged. Great. And with that done, we are going to come up here and build since York they they really do need production so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that forest into a lumber mill that's that's not the right way to explore you're going the wrong way stupid boat ship excuse me see I, I just saw Mongolia climb in the rankings they're doing well Wittenberg and Denmark no longer allies that's fascinating and what's this Ethiopia and Korea now friends, so Korea is becoming everyone's friend despite my best efforts to diplomatically isolate it. I will have to re-evaluate my efforts at isolating them. Because it's not happening. And I need to get through this next election and then spend money upgrading my units. Because many of my units are outmoded at this point. I also need to be able to secure aluminum, although I'm hoping that befriending city-states will do it for me. I heard someone assessing today the diplomatic win 
is basically the easiest of all wins and the come from behind win. You can be far behind everybody else and still win with it. And I thought to myself, yeah, and I'll be lucky to get that. I will be lucky to get that. So, Privateer finished. We will send it out scouting. And we are almost close enough to Bratislava that we can spread our faith to that pagan land. Hello, speaking of pagans. Whenever I click through turns like this, I always feel like I'm forgetting things. Speaking of forgetting things, 1776, America declared independence from Great Britain. It is still Great Britain at the time. And I'm not really going to go into the Revolutionary War um, because, I mean, obviously there is, there is a British side to that. But at the same time, I could probably better cover that in any American playthrough that I ever do. Which, if I do an American playthrough, that might be in, um, it might be in Civ 6. So let's see, Industrial Era, Peace Treaty expired, Canterbury has grown, and we are friends with just about everybody. Strangely, we are not friends with Attila. And we should be. Hey, Korea, you want to declare war on somebody? Like your friend? No? How about somebody else like... Genghis Khan. You hate him, right? Uh... No, I'm not going to give you any horses. You befriended... Korea. So I will sell you horses. Thank you. Thank you for that deal. Likewise, I will sell you horses. Another civilization I need to become friends with. Alright. 81 gold. With a stock exchange coming online. Eight turns. Manila is in awe. I am right down well. towards the bottom. I got rifling. <laughs> Building a camp where camps are needed. And clicking next turn. Feeling like I'm forgetting things. Should just set that ship of the line to explore. Eventually I'll bring everybody back to base to re-equip. I tell you what I will be doing soon is I will be getting building factories everywhere. I don't really want a great profit, actually. I think I would like to get a pagoda. I think that there's still one city out there that could benefit from a pagoda. And I think it's Nottingham, am I right? Huh. Don't have enough faith to buy this. Oh, it's a great artist which I'm close to. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, well. Am I working my guilds? Yeah, sufficiently. I feel like, I definitely feel like I'm forgetting something. Hmm. Don't know. Any quests around here I could do for anybody? Oh look, there's a quest. Speaking of quests, six turns to uh, defeat barbarian units in their territory. I'm not gonna be able to get a unit over there in time. But I will send a unit over to deal with that. And still no quest here to deal with these barbarians. I find that interesting. And now they're spawning in my sea. I should probably send a ship to go deal with that. Hmm. Never again to you, buddy. I suspect I know what you were up to. Besides, the air of the ideologies are upon us. Great artist, you know what we're going to use that for? We're going to go ahead and make a great work. And that's going to go right in some slot someplace. And we are going to have a little bit more culture to get workers' faculties. 
Just explore. Five turns until it's time. No, please don't go to war with Arabia. Bucharest desires Broadway. Yeah, well, sorry. It's probably not going to happen. Ah, barbarians. How am I going to deal with these guys? With this ship and this longbowman. That's how I'm going to deal with that. And now let's spread our faith to the pagan lands. Wow, that flipped pretty easy. So let's go hit Zurich. Actually, we should... Nah, I was going to say we should go hit Vatican City, but nah. I'd rather consolidate up here. Four turns. And then... Oh, hey, speaking of history, history's happening right now. Oh, this is tempting. Sell my gems. It is tempting, but I'm not going to do it. This should get me back to like 22 happiness. Right? Yes. Good. And my friendship has expired with the Ottomans. Hi, guys. Let's be friends. Great. How about you guys? Maya. No. There is... Part of why I'm having such a hard time with these guys is I've got nothing I can trade with them. But still. Nope. And Attila, you used to be doing pretty well, man. Sorry to see you so bad off. I'm betting that that's probably Genghis who's doing that. Oh, look. Speaking of Attila, you're doing what Attila does. You're fighting city-states. Please don't do that. 1790. I bet I've missed a bunch of interesting history. Oh, I did. 1780. 1780. Great Britain wins a bunch of the battles against the quote-unquote continentals at Camden, Guilford, Courthouse, etc. But they managed to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory, as we all know. And they lost in... Excuse me, 1789, no, 1782, the Treaty of Paris saw American independence, and in 1789, the French Revolution heats up. That guillotine starts going. It's chopping heads. 1800, Ireland joined Great Britain to become the United Nations. I'm sorry I upset you. Can't we all just get along in this game? You know, for being a Genghis to... Oh, they made... Piece. So now I need to worry about, I tell you, as soon as I get through this election, I need to upgrade all my units because I need to worry about um, Denmark. Because now that they're no longer at war, they will come after me. Oh yes, they will. So that's that. Hastings has grown. Open borders ended. That's Fine. Sejong has completed the Statue of Liberty, so now they have insane amounts of production. Hmm. And it is time for London to do something. I'm thinking something that takes six turns, because I will soon have workers' faculties and be building factories everywhere. Or I can just do a stock exchange and do 15 turns because I never do what I say when I think it. Definitely a failing of mine. I'll be darned, but that pikeman is making good time getting over here. Still, he won't be there in time. Come on. Come on over here. Come on. We'll get over to Zurich and we'll convert Zurich. So this is the last turn before the World Congress. And I'm going to go ahead and blow my money now on city-states. Bratislava no longer needs your help. Oh, uh, 
I should have blown my money last last turn. Okay, who we got? Nobody in the top ranks that has infrastructure projects. Vatican's going to be my friend for a long time. I need 10 influence in Valletta. I need... What? Forget that guy. 25 influence here. Wittenberg. 17 influence. Ooh, 61. This is where this is where we can no longer no longer make it work. 43. Nope, that's not going to happen. I think that's the end of it. 29. Hmm. No, I'm not going to spend the gold on that. I'm just going to I'm going to go into this election with with these city-states. I think that that actually should be enough. I'm feeling like that's enough. Oh, hey, and the other day, that business about not being able to buy votes from city-states, I listened to some videos today. That's because I, I'm spying on places, but I don't have a diplomat in any cities. That's what's causing that. That's what's causing that. Okay, come on, down here to Zurich. Convert. All right, we, this is successful religion spreading right here. And we've got now 20 pressure on the Vatican. And I don't think I will need to ever buy a prophet or missionary again. From now on, it's going to be, I'm gonna get that pagoda, which I can probably get now. Boom. All right, that's the last purchasing I will ever do with faith. From now on, I'm just going to stockpile faith and buy great scientists with it. It's done me well. I'm making a lot of gold. I wonder what my... I, can I see my income from tithe? You know need tithe. Mm, shut up, man. 1794, what else has been going on? Did I mention that Great Britain is voting whether or not to leave the EU? The vote happened today... And the votes are being counted right now. And the, the last I saw, it was 50-50. It was actually like 50.1 to 49.9. So that's some, that is history happening right there. All right. Wow, geez. Siam. They are a pain in the butt. So... Hmm. I wish that I knew how people were going to vote. I guess that I have to have diplomats out there to know that information. I want natural wonders, but at the same time, I want to be able to trade with city-states. I'm going to guess that the embargo of the city-states is going to fail without me, because if I vote to, to bring it down, then I'll get a diplomatic hit with Siam. So I'm gonna roll a dice here. And can we hit the... No, because of the stuff in between here and there. Yeah. We can't hit the barbs because of the hills and the trees. So let's come down here and clean barbs because I know there's barbs down here now. And what else is going on? Oh yeah, we're coming up here to clean this camp. How many followers do we have? Nine versus two. It'll be a long time before Vatican City flips. Seventeen ninety-six, and as I mentioned, the French Revolution was heating up. The Americans have their independence in seventeen ninety-three. Napoleon has come out on top of the French Revolution, and he declares war on Great Britain which is actually now the United Kingdom with Ireland. So Napoleon has declared war on the United Kingdom. Colombo and Siam no longer allies. 
I probably just lost a bunch of... Okay, wait. Oh, no! Embargo city-states passed. And mine failed. Who voted for this? Siam, Korea, Denmark, Arabia, Mongolia. Wow, a lot of people voted for it. Whereas nobody voted for cultural history sites except for me. Okay, listen up, people. It's going to get a little worse for y'all now. I'm not very happy about this business. How could you do this to me? I'm now going to... I'm going to punish the world somehow. We're going to do... Er, I kind of want to do embargo on Korea, but I don't feel like that's the next step. No, I remember what it was. It was arts funding. That will detriment people like Korea and not impact me because I've got the I will have the ability to buy scientists with faith. So I'm going to go with arts funding, and that will make a bunch of people happy. So, I will go ahead and commit that proposal. And I can just see my longbowman dying. That's... Yeah, I'm going to have to have that longbowman retreat. I'm not going to lose a longbowman. So now we have to reassign all of our... All our cities... All of our uh, trade routes. Wow, that's so annoying. Okay, well, I suppose it will be worth more gold in the long run. And maybe we only had the one the one route anyway. Yes, I am. I want to be your friend. You are hanging out with the wrong crowd, this Korea crowd. You're hanging out with the wrong kids. Yeah, I probably have made most of the world happy now because... Most of the civs in this game have gone aesthetic. of the West hope that by means of steam. So there's another farm. And are we working that farm? We will next turn, right? We'll take somebody off of, say, this tile and put them here. Great. So growth and stuff happens. All right. I said I was going to upgrade units. So it is time to go upgrade units now. To keep the Danes at bay. Yep. So what else we got? Oh yeah, I gotta figure out what to do with this worker now that Hastings is, um, yeah. Well, I guess I'll go improve that hill. You know, I came over here to help you guys, and this is what I get for all of my efforts. There's nothing here. So, back into the woods he goes. I would love it if I had patronage. I'll go ahead and send horses again to Denmark because, after all... I don't need the horses, and he definitely does. And I've got to get iron. How did I forget iron? Is that what I've been forgetting? I hope so. Longbowman was bombarded by enemy crossbow. Enemy spotted near Nottingham. That's this. All right, here is the big moment. Here's where we get workers' faculties. Yes, nice. All right, iron. I'm not gonna forget. I'm gonna get iron. Oh yeah, and this is this is where I again lay a thousand curses on this map that there's no iron anywhere in the world. There's no iron. Seriously, I know that I'm the worst Sith player on YouTube. This is ridiculous. He'll die. There is no stinking iron anywhere. Are there any of these city-states with iron? Come on. How can I... Can I flip through them somehow, quickly? Yep, 
You know, I've, I've actually gone and checked the first video to see, do I have strategic resources off or something? All right. The player becomes the ally. Well, I'm not going to become the ally because Korea is currently the ally, and I need 78 influence. So that's not going to happen. It's just extremely frustrating. I'll have to check again later to see if I can find some iron. Ethiopia, now ally of Valletta. Oh, I lost Valletta already. Um, let's... What do I get? Militar oh, that's militaristic. You can have them. And another cargo rat. This one to Ribe? Or Ankara? What's Ankara's religion look like? Oh, there's no way I would be able to overpressure Judaism there. So, yeah, let's go to Ribe. Fortified there. Actually, A for awake, right? Alert. A is for alert. Okay. It's 1802. 1802. What happened in 1802? Well, we killed some barbs. And 1805, with the invasion of Napoleon apparently coming any month, the ministry proposed. Wow, they must have been really scared of Napoleon because they proposed letting Catholics serve in any position of the military. George III, though, he would rather that the French invade than Catholics get access to the, any rank in the military. So he made Parliament drop it, and he actually told him, don't just drop it, never bring it up again. I, I, I had no idea. As an ignorant American, I had no idea that the UK was so fervently anti-Catholic. I thought that, I just, it never crossed my mind. I had no idea that there was such religious animosity. I knew that they'd fought the, the Irish in what, the late 1800s or middle 1800s over their Catholic faith, but I didn't know it was this rabid. So, now having done my little purchase of allies and now they fall away from me I need to there's so many social policies I need so quickly I need to finish filling out rationalism I need to what if I just unlock patronage that'll be huge just unlocking patronage and then going back on with rationalism but even that's going to be 32 turns. Oh, nice. Another farm tile available to us. Actually, let's bring you down here to work on that farm tile. So that's nice. And Valletta gave us a new unit. They gave us, I guess, this machine gun. And Ethiopia has gone freedom. So... I'm surprised I'm not already dealing with a bunch of pressure. Let's look at this from Ethiopia's point of view. Where, ah, there they are. We are exotic, which means they're going to be exporting some pressure on me. I need to... What? I need to get some tourism of my own and a lot more culture because I understand that being able to get an happiness um, units against me. So if we come over here by, yeah, culture victory. Yeah, right here. Oh, look, Korea's got two of those things, those units of, of pressure. Those things come by the amount of differential between... It's not just as simple as their tourism versus my culture. I, I had it explained, or I listened to it explained recently. It's more like... 
Fair ratio. No, 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 no. Oh, I, I forget. You know, I'll listen to it again and I'll, I'll explain it in the next episode. But the point is, is that tourism is not worthless in defending yourself against the tourism of other sims. So, and in fact, a little tourism can kind of go a long way in helping you. So. Off! Okay, so that is the end of the episode. I'm going to bring these units back home. Actually, I'm probably going to park one right here because of them sneaky Danes. We will upgrade people and stuff. And... I guess in the next episode, we will start dealing with them pesky ideologies. Because otherwise, we're going to be really, really unhappy really, really fast. And I don't intend on letting that get out of control. Okay. So, thank you very much for listening. I hope you have an excellent day. And I hope that whichever side you're on in the Brexit issue, I'm not on a side because I'm an un uncultured American that's ignorant to world politics. But whatever side you're on, I hope that your side wins. So go click subscribe because I am instructing you to with my mind powers. And then click like. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.